Charlotte Pamela Gardner is here. We have some good news this weekend. The clocks. Yay. We get a little more daylight on the uh, back end of the day. That's a nice thing. Exciting, but now that I have kids, it's yeah. <laughs> not so exciting. It doesn't help in the morning. No, not no, at no, all. No. It'll be tricky trying to get them readjusted. Yeah. And us, too. It's hard for anyone. But, hey, we do get some of those later sunsets this weekend as we spring forward technically on Sunday morning. So that's why the countdown is two days. And nine days away, St. Patrick's Day. Next weekend, it's actually showing up on the end of our 10-day forecast. I'll show you an early look at what to expect for the parades in a minute. 11 days until astronomical spring begins in 23 three days away from Easter. Here's a look at our sunrise sunset time. Sunset now is at 538. We go to 645 by Sunday. But on the back side here, well, on the front side, I guess you should say, uh, sunrise is at 703. So then we go to March 23rd. And as we expand our time of daylight each and every day, 641 sunrise, sunset 7 o'clock for March 23rd. Good stuff. Plenty of sunshine out there right now, and it's helping to warm temps if you're away from the coast. We're 43 at the coast here in Boston, and that's because we have a north-northeast wind. It feels like 36 degrees, and so it is a little choppy, and it's rough off of our coastline, too. Wave heights upwards of 10 feet, and so it's very loud if you live at the coast, and it's very, very gusty. The wind's pushing 35 miles per hour for some coastal communities farther inland. A nuisance wind, but nothing too bad here. First Alert Live Radar shows our exiting storm system back there. Still some lingering clouds from it across the Cape and Islands and then the rest of us it's full sun before our next storm systems knocking on our doorstep for tomorrow night into Sunday morning giving us the chance for some widespread heavy rain and more wind so today soak in that sunshine 45 for Boston cooler at the coast versus inland some low 50s from Fitchburg to Jaffrey even 51 degrees there tonight we're back in the 20s to around freezing with a very subtle wind the wind does subside Saturday versus Sunday I'm going to pick Saturday as my pick of the weekend because it's cloudy but it's dry. Sunday we have a lot of wind to deal with and morning heavy rain, lots of standing water and puddles. Temperatures better though, 53 degrees. But here's a look at what to expect. Okay, Saturday afternoon we have minor late morning coastal flooding going on due to high astronomical tides. And then we have the rain chance back to our west but it holds off until between 8 and 11 o'clock in Boston for Saturday. The whole day's dry, the whole day's cloudy and a little bit breezy but no major issues until that heavy rain moves through overnight. Sunday morning, waking up to intense wind, especially at the coast and south and east, and a lot of rain. But that rain tapers by 9 o'clock. Midday coastal flooding yet again with that next high tide cycle. We have some snow across the mountains and ski areas, too. Colder air wraps in behind this area of low pressure, and there's enough instability that we could see a little bit of a spritz from the clouds Sunday afternoon. Most of us were drying off, but the wind direction changes, too. It's still gusty up to 30 miles an hour from the west. It's still snowing up in the mountains throughout the morning on Monday, too. So while most of us will will be experiencing the rain through Sunday morning, about an inch of accumulation. Up in ski country, we're going to see several inches of accumulation, around six inches, the Green Mountains, and around 8 to 12 plus for our friends across Mount Washington. How about the wind? Sunday morning is going to be the worst of it, with 40 to 60 mile per hour gusts from the south and east. And leading up to that high tide Sunday, late morning, early afternoon, I think there could be some pockets of minor coastal flooding, unfortunately. So watch for that. Low-lying areas, typical spots that flood uh, will likely flood on Sunday at least, if not all three days here. So 10-day outlook, we have more sunshine on the way and eventually warmer temps. And Jeff, uh, St. Patrick's Day next Sunday, yeah. 51, chance for rain.